on this presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, databases and explain what is a database and the steps that you have to take into consideration when you choose a database and working on your topic. What is a database? A database is a collection of interrelated data, usually stored as a computerized electronic file to serve multiple purposes. Uh, that definition has been taken from Encyclopedia Britannica. It is also an organized collection of information pertaining to a particular subject. In terms of database, uh, we have bibliographic database, full text database, as well as citation database. When you are selecting a database, you have to make sure that you are selecting the relevant database uh, for your assignment and um, the assignment will be given in class and you have to ask you the following questions. Are you writing an assignment or presentation? Because there's a difference between a presentation and an assignment. A presentation does focus on key points like what I'm doing now and whereas an assignment you have to give a flash and then you have to ask yourself how long does the assignment is because the longer the assignment the more books you have to consult and you have to ask yourself whether you need current or historical information does information apply to a specific country and then when do you need the information what languages are you able to read because there's no use of selecting uh, information in other languages that you do not understand and also you have to ask yourself whether you are looking for information from books journals, newspapers, etc. Continuing with the questions that you ask yourself, um, for which subject do you need the information? Is your topic sufficiently narrow? Is the topic too general? And then if it is the case, you limit your search by using one or more of the following, a specific time period, a specific geographical area, or a specific group of people. Selecting an information source will be determined by the type of information that you are working on. If you are defining terms, you will use the subject dictionaries and you search that in the database, which is the catalog. If you are working on short overview, you use subject encyclopedias and you use the catalog to search for that information. And then if you are working on basic information, you use textbooks, be it electronic or print and then you use the catalog to do your search. When you are given a topic in class or assignment, you have to break it down to keywords. Um, a keyword or key term is an important component of the topic. Uh, you use those keywords to do your search. Uh, what is important is that you have to build your vocabulary also by knowing the synonyms, the related terms, or whether it's narrow terms or broader terms because you might use a particular term and then you don't get the results that you are happy with. And then you can use the other term that is related to that to get the information that is relevant to your topic. Like for instance, if you are writing an assignment on library in town and then you don't get uh, relevant information. So instead of towns, you might use cities because towns and cities related terms. Once you have identified those keywords, you don't just type them the way that you want. Um, you combine them using Boolean operators or connector words and or not. You use and if you want to find records that contain two or more of the ideas that you have identified, um, referring to the keywords that you have identified and uh, you want all those concepts to appear somewhere in the record. And then end is used to narrow a search and is also used for linking different ideas. Continuing with the Boolean operators, now or, you use or to broaden your search uh, for synonyms and either of the terms should be somewhere in the record. For instance, if your topic is service delivery in towns or cities, you are saying that 
one of the two terms should appear somewhere in the record, be it towns or cities, because cities and towns are synonyms or related terms. Continuing with Boolean operators, not, you use not to exclude words from your search results and to narrow your search. For instance, if you are looking for berries, you will say berries and not strawberries.